Boom. Morning, afternoon, evening, good night, whatever time you're watching this. My name's Uta Vives. Welcome to the channel. Make sure you like, share, and please do subscribe. Follow me on the Instagram, Uta underscore Vives. So boom, no long talking. Artemis P15 review. Which is yeah. If you haven't, please go watch the unboxing. I didn't want to do it in this video. Let's up again. This is what happens when you have a swagger man with a strap. So boom, let's start off with the front of the rifle, yeah? So boom, you got the shroud that doubles as a silencer because it's got baffles inside. Also, it's an air stripper as well because when you shoot a pellet, the pellet goes out, but all of the dead air that's behind the pellet, it comes out of these holes. You get me? Top, you got a dovetail rail that you mount the scope to. Not a Picatinny, dovetail. Is it? And then boom, you got a full 450mm barrel or 45cm barrel. I don't know what me or anything it is, but watching Big Dan, I just know it's got a high twist rate, so it likes heavier pellets. So yeah, that's the barrel, 450mm. Alright, make sure you watch till the end, because I'm going to take off this shroud and show you like, the baffles and the barrel. So yeah, underneath the barrel you got the air cylinder. It's a 265cc and it's regulated, so it only lets out a certain amount of air. It won't waste none. At the front you got the pressure gauge. Ooh. See, my one's got a lot of fill up at 200, but I had to do the chrono. So yeah, F the fill port to fill it. I love this car. It's not like the Wildcat. You might accidentally leave the Wildcat open. This one's spring tension, so yeah, when you fill it, automatically closes. Get me? Yeah, where should we go to next? Right, let's go to the stock next. You look and see it's a wood stock. I think it's called German Beach, something like that. So it smells proper wood, you see it? So yeah, underneath that now, you got the trigger. It's a two-stage trigger. You got the safety set on, on the trigger as well. You look, can see this notch here. That's how the safety works. Like when you engage safety, that notch kind of holds it. When you take it off safety, it's not loaded by the way. I got in the single shot tray, but yeah. Put on safety. It's crazy. Yes, yeah, smells weird. I don't know why I keep saying that. It's at the back of the rifle now. Got the butt stock or recoil pad. This one's rubber, it's kind of hard. I'm going to talk about this later as well, watch. Just above that, certain people don't need to know what that is. But yeah, let's go to the breech block now. You look can see it's a side lever action. Watch this side lever action, it's kind of scary, watch it. It hit my finger earlier, oh my god, watch this. It's crazy, but yeah, side lever action. Remember it's not loaded. Let me just show you how the trigger works at the same time. So boom, almost. Watch this. Show you this two-stage trigger quickly. Ready? First stage. Second stage. I felt the air come out of the holes with that shot when I shot it. But let's go back to the breech block now, yeah? And you turn this around, you got the cheek piece. Nothing crazy, but... Yeah, I like it cause it's short, 
You always know where your face has got to go. If you go too forward, you're uncomfy. Too back, it's not comfy. So yeah, you always know where your face is going to go kind of thing. Get me? See that? But yeah, that's the breach block. Let's go to the single shot tree. Let me take it out furthermore. Alright, so watch this now. Say if the rifle's loaded, you get an important phone call. Let the pellet out of the barrel. Safety first, man. But watch this. You can decock this by letting it out, holding that back, pressing the trigger, and just riding it forward. It's one good thing, definitely, is it? So boom, let me take this single shot tray out of here now, yeah? Alright, so boom, single shot tray comes as standard. It fits down, it's got some grooves here, you look can see. It fits that it slide, it fits nicely there, it slides down, you see it? To hold it in, it's got a magnet here, and it's got a magnet on the rifle, so yeah. It won't go nowhere. I don't know how long the magnet's gonna last, but it's cool. Magazine. This is a mad thing. Let me show you how to load the magazine quickly. Right. Same thing with the magazine. This is the back of it. The front of it's got the same grooves. It's got a magnet here and a magnet underneath. So it just slides down in there. But let me show you like, how to use this card. This one is kind of crazy. Remember, I'm not used to this one, but let me show you like, how you do it quickly. Right, so this is the 11 shot magazine. To load it though, boom, you gotta come to the front or the back really. Turn it all the way around till it can't turn no more. Hold it there. And you get a pellet and put it skirt, ooh, skirt side, skirt first, sorry. Get out a little tap that kind of holds the little tension. Then you can just move to the next spot now. Put a pellet in head first, bang. Go around to the next spot. Pellet in. Oh, I dropped that one. So pellet in head first. And just go around so boom when it's loaded it's gonna look like that basically and then see this little see this here that basically acts like does this to the pellet just pushes the pellet into the barrel basically about probes obviously the probe comes in the box you know how to use this you connect it to the holes on your bottle watch this this probe never fitted onto my socket the quick connector thing so i had to order another one from eagle vision fits perfect you lot should have seen in the last video so yeah let me show you how that works basically Pro bit here, you just push this in through the hole when it's connected to the bottle and the holes. Push that in there, good to go. I'm gonna do that soon. Get me? Alright, so boom, this is what I wanted to show you about the barrel before we get to the numbers. Remember, this is a shroud here, yeah, slash air stripper. You know what? Let me come back to it. Watch this. Shout out Sai Pitway. I'm not getting caught out like that. Thank you. I'm learning from your mistakes. Watch this though. You look, heard me say there's baffles in there, yeah? Look how short the barrel is. It starts from here, sorry. Here to here, yeah? So the barrel's only like, oh. 
But yeah, the barrel only comes up to about here. So watch this now. Let me take this off quickly. Boom. You see that? Let me show you something that I learned quickly, yeah? So watch this now, yeah? I just took the Virac off. See how it still makes it short? But you don't know, Vira keeps a rifle quiet. Watch this, let me see if I can do this quickly. Watch this. Remember it's not loaded. Watch this. See how quiet that was? Right, compare it. Comparing it to the original now. Watch this, not loaded. I'm hoping you lot can hear the difference. Alright, so boom. Let's talk numbers now, yeah? I got this chrono yesterday. It was shooting between... Remember, I ain't touched it. Ain't been tuned or nothing. Fresh out the box. I put one magazine through it. And it was shooting at 10.3 down to 9.6. I think that equals out to 731, between 725 and 735 feet per second it was going, so it's alright, but if you know me, I need 11.5, 11.6, so yeah, let me talk about the things I don't like about this now quickly, alright, so two main things about this rifle, yeah? First thing, the cheap piece is here, the recoil pad is here. It ain't comfy, like, I mean to get comfy, I need my face, like, here. But it's on edges, you get me? It's not comfy at all. So, I've ordered something that will make this extend a bit forward, so, um, like that, you get me? Way more comfy, but, yeah, that's one. I don't like that, it's a bit short, they should have made it longer, for real, for real. Yeah, and the next thing, just a side lever car, this is dangerous, like it's hit me one, look, almost broke my nail. So watch this, watch it, let me come in closer, at that angle that you look can see. That's not even, it got caught on my vest actually, that's what happened. And it just flicked out, I was thinking, oh, what happened? But yeah, that's a bit crazy. Other than that, can't go wrong really. Artemis P15. Yeah, can't wait to shoot it. But yeah, next, I'm going to give you a little grouping in the garden. Obviously, ranges are closed. We'll talk about more about that in the next clip. So boom, I'm at my normal position, shooting position, at the front of the house. I had to close this because I didn't want no glare in the lens. Shoot into the very back of the garden. So boom, I'm going to give you five shots with the magazine, five with the single shot tray. And I left the dot down here because I want to take off this shroud and put on the Virac silencer and see if it has any change. So remember, this is fresh out the box. I've cleaned the barrel once. It, the barrel hasn't been leaded up. The rifle hasn't bedded in or anything, so. Yeah, so don't judge me on this shooting, so. Yeah, let me do this for you, look. I'm gonna be using the JSB Exacts 8.44 grain with the 4.52 head size.
it's a bomb. P15, you lot saw the grouping, but don't be put off because remember it's a brand new rifle. Everything, the action still has to get to, get bedded in kind of thing. The barrel still needs to get leaded up. I did clean it, but I still got to put like a thousand pellets through to get the, get it all leaded up. You get me? So boom, here's the grouping. Magazine with the Virox suppressor or silencer with the single shot magazine. We do a group in test soon to see which pellet works in the rifle the best as well. Like I said, it likes heavy pellets. So, yeah, got to do all of them kind of tests. Is it? Yeah, it's a bomb. Artemis P15-177. You look see it. Like I said, I still got to put a thousand pellets through to get the barrel leaded up and everything, but... I'm gonna do a grouping test soon, a pellet test I should say, and see which pellets group the best with it. Like Big Dan said, it's got a high twist rate, so it likes heavier pellets. But boom, yeah, Artemis P15 and a 177. Remember, I got this from Essex Cut Price Air Guns. I'm done, man. So boom, my name's Uta Beefs. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, share, and please, like I said earlier, subscribe. I'm trying to grow that now, you see it? So yeah, follow me on Instagram, Uta underscore beefs. And you lot, like I'm not a, sh a rubbish shooter. Like you lot, go check my RMA and my Wildcat videos. Like I said, I'm a man on a mission with this rifle. But you lot, peace out. Bow, bow.